Welcome back students and welcome to Reader's Workshop. In Reader's Workshop we've been learning about how readers build good habits just like you have to brush your teeth to stay healthy just like nowadays we have our new habit of plugging in our iPad every night before we go to bed so it's all charged and ready for our next day of school. Readers build good habits and the habit we've been talking about a lot is how you have to Take a sneak peek at the beginning of the book, and you can see the cute cartoon where it's like the little eyes peeking over onto the cover and even peeking inside, and we look at the cover, the back, and the inside a little. And then as you start to read, you want to check your sneak peek. Now, I know some of you may be thinking and you may be saying, well, Mrs. Kilmer, you showed us two times already how to sneak peek, but sneak peeking with like a real book. And sometimes we're reading real books, but a lot of times at home, I understand that you are reading on your iPad. You're reading books digitally. So today I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing. You need to take a sneak peek, even if you're reading a book digitally online, for example, in RAS. Okay, so I found this fun book in Reading A to Z um, called Food Trucks. And I'm going to sneak peek the cover just like I would if it were a regular book. And I can see that, let me make sure, hold on, that I'm in full screen there. Um, so I see there's food, it's a food truck, there's lots of people around. I see like the menu, that's where they write the different kinds of food and how much it costs, right? And people are sitting at picnic tables, so that's interesting because sometimes food trucks are just on the side of the street and you just get your food and go, right? Nowadays, we don't really sit together like this. Um, anyway, so that's how you can sneak peek the cover. I think it's gonna be about food trucks. Oh, I also see a detail. I think it's gonna be about how food trucks are really delicious because look, in the title, it has the two O's have eyes and there's like a little smiling tongue, you know, like licking, like, like yummy, yummy. So I think this might be about how food trucks um, have delicious food. Okay, let's keep going. So now I'm on the title page. Oh, let me fix this a little bit. Okay, so again, I read Food Trucks, written by Anthony Curran, and here I see, oh, there's a taco truck. So I wonder if they're going to have some taco trucks in this book. Oh, this is making me hungry. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, and this is a neat thing that you'll find in the Reading A to Z books. They are words to note. Now, for some of you, <clears throat> this won't be helpful because you can't really tell what those words are. But for some of you who can already read a bit, um, <clears throat> taking a look at the words to know, these are the words that you're going to find in the book. And you want to make sure, at least when you finish the book, that you go back and you know what these words are. Barbecue, crowds, kitchen, seafood, tacos, taste. Okay, so we're on the first page. You know what, let me adjust this a little bit. I think I can. So I see at the top, um, someone's getting their order from the food truck and another lady is standing there ordering. And down here, some young people are getting some food from the food truck. So I know it's gonna be about food and food trucks. So those are the words I know I'm going to find. So let me go ahead and read. Food trucks are trucks where people make and sell food. Okay, yeah, if I think about how I could check my sneak peek, I'm on track so far. Oh wow, if I look at these pictures before I start reading, it looks like this is the kitchen part. Now the picture's inside the food truck and we're seeing like the little kitchen where they really make the food. Okay, now I'm gonna read. Each food truck has a, oh, look, <clears throat> kitchen, kitchen inside. <clears throat> Excuse me. So sure enough, I sneak peek the picture and that gives me a clue to what I'm going to read, what the words are gonna say. Oh, wow. So these are pictures of different kinds of food trucks. Wow. That food truck, oh look, there's a picture of like some maybe fried fish and french fries, hmm. And here's one that has, oh, like some barbecue, like barbecue sandwich. 
Okay, let me try to read now. This food sells fish and chips. This food truck sells barbecue. Ah, okay. So notice when I even, this says take a sneak peek at the beginning, but even when I take a sneak peek at each picture, and I think in kindergarten, some of your teachers might have talked about doing a picture walk, right? You always want to look at the picture to get a clue before you try to read. So, you know what? Now I'm going to try to use my cursor instead of my finger. That'll probably work better. And I'm getting used to doing this too. So now I see two different food trucks. This one looks like it has a chicken on it. So I wonder if that's some fried chicken. And then down here, ooh, I see a picture of pizza. You know what? I'm going to try to get this a little bit more up. So we can see a little bit more of the picture. There we go. That's a little better. So I see this one must be selling pizza. Okay, let me go ahead and try to read. Oh, and look, there's an arrow. It's good to notice details like this when you read too. So the arrow is pointing up to explain these words go with this picture. Okay, here we go. This food truck sells ch chicken, right? Okay, so I figured that out. This food truck sells p pizza. Okay, so I'm on track. Wow, I see this one, it's hard to tell. Let's see, it's got maybe like some curry and rice. Oh, I wonder if this one is selling like Indian food. Oh, and down here I see some sushi. Okay, sushi, sushi is like from Japan maybe. Okay, let's try to read now. This food truck sells Indian food. This food truck sells Japanese food. Okay. Oh, so this food truck, I could see a bunch of hot dogs. And for this food truck, I see, hmm, that's a little hard to tell what that is. Maybe, is that like grilled cheese? That's kind of funny. I don't know. Let's take a look and try to figure out with the words now. This food truck sells hot dogs. Okay. This food truck sells gr, gr, oh, I guess it was gr, grilled cheese sandwiches. Now I had to stop for a minute here and sometimes when you have to stop when you're reading to figure out a word it's good to go back and reread the sentence. So I'm going to go back a little bit. This food truck sells grilled cheese sandwiches. Oh my gosh this book is making me so hungry. Okay look at this one. What is that? That looks like maybe some shrimp or lobster some kind of seafood. Wow. And this one has tacos. Okay, I'm ready to try to read. This food truck sells sea oh seafood. This food truck sells t t tacos. Wow, this book just goes on and on. It's making me more and more hungry. Ooh, here I see some ribs, right? Some ribs. And this looks like a hamburger and french fries. Okay, now I'm ready to read. This food truck sells ribs. Yeah, ribs. This food truck sells hamburgers. Wow, look at that bus. That's really kind of crazy. Really very colorful. Oh, okay, now it, the pictures are different. Wait, you know what? I got to go back for a minute. Remember, sometimes you want to go back and forth in a book to make sure you're understanding. So, Back here, all the pictures we've been having for a while are pictures of, of single food trucks, and it's telling us about the food from that food truck. But now it's changed. Now I see lots of people standing in line, lots of big crowds of people. Look at those big crowds of people going to food trucks. Okay, now let me try to read it. Food trucks go wherever there are crooks crowds of people. Oh, I'm going to reread that. Hold on. Food trucks go wherever there are crowds of people. So crowds, a crowd is like a big group of people, lots of people. Yeah? Oh, and there is a lady. It looks like she's biting into her food and she has a smile on her face. I wonder if she thinks it tastes good, if it tastes good. And these two People are also looking at each other and kind of smiling as she tastes her food. Maybe they're sharing some food. 
Okay, let's try to read let's try to read the words. The food can taste really good. Oh, sure enough. That's what she looked like, right? It looked like she was feeling like the food tasted really good. And sure enough, that's what the word said. And that's the end. So from this lesson, I want you to remember that even when you're reading a book on reading A to Z, you can sneak peek the cover, sneak peek the pictures to help you have a clue about what the words are gonna say. And also, if you notice on the back of a reading A to Z book at the end, it talks about making connections. So whenever we read a book, we want to do something at the end of the book. And you can do different things. They're talking about some writing or some art that you could do, little kind of projects or ideas about a connection. But you can also just do something as simple as going back and looking at a part of the book that you really liked. I've talked about that with you, how at the end I always like to go back and find a page that I really enjoyed. Like, I really like seeing this very cool, colorful um, van that is selling hamburgers, right? And also, I wanna go back and look at the sushi because I really like sushi. Well, I like tacos too. Ooh, look at those yummy tacos. Yeah, but I also like sushi, so I'm gonna go back and look at the sushi one. Ooh, look at that, yummy, yummy. Okay, so I did something at the end of the book, so now I'm ready maybe to go enjoy another book. So don't forget that when you're building your good habits, you want to be sure to take a sneak peek and always check your sneak peek because that'll help you with your book and what you're trying to read. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye.